All right, so this is grooming a pygmy goat buck. Again, pygmy goats are left natural. The bucks, you even do less grooming on them than you do for your does and your weathers. So starting with this guy, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in with my clippers with a clipper guard, keep me from cutting more than I want off. I'm gonna pick up his rear end and I'm cleaning up the escutcheon. And what this does, getting rid of the hair, it lets the judge get a better view of the U-shape of the escutcheon, just like you do with the does. But again, the difference here with this guy is you don't take off as much with them as you do with, with the does. So I'm gonna put his leg down. Hopefully he'll cooperate. We're trying to get it just cleaned up so that it shows up or shows itself off a lot better in the ring. Now bucks are supposed to be hairy. They're supposed to be very masculine looking and that's why you don't do too much grooming on them. So if you can see this side, you can see the U-shape a lot better than this side. And that's why we clean it up in here. So I'll just work the clippers around. Open it up. And I can't stress enough, don't take too much off. That's, they're supposed to be hairy. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna work on is the side angulation. When the judge is looking at them from the side, they, you want them to be able to see this side angulation here but of course that hair kind of covers it up. So a lot of times what I'll do, I'll get a comb and a pair of scissors, kind of brush it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna kind of cut it. Kind of trim some of this off again. You want them to stay natural looking. The front, I'm not gonna mess with that. You can see how nice and long it is. That's what you wanna, to keep it. So you just kinda brush your comb out. Again, not too much. You don't want them to look too trimmed. Just a little bit. And that's all I'm gonna do on the back end with him. On both sides. And then, Actually, so also when they start shedding out and you have all of the the wool coming out you want something like a de-shedding tool for a dog and you're just gonna gently work that out again they're supposed to be hairy that nice thick masculine coat you don't want to rip the hairs out so you try and get as little or be as gentle as possible working that undercoat out on them. So. On this side, same thing. Now also remember, this is your show side, so you wanna be really careful with your show side. Again, I'm just gonna work it out. And step, you can step back away from them and double check again, see how it looks. Remember, get down the judge's perspective on what the judge is gonna see. And just work them out. Okay, that's pretty much all I'm gonna take off of him. Hair wise now younger bucks a lot of times are gonna have a big kind of pompadour here on their head I know it looks cute they got their little Elvis Presley going on unfortunately when the hair curls up like that 
it's going to make the face not look like it's shaped properly. So as cute as it is, you need to go ahead and take it off. You know, you, and you, that way you'll just either use your scissors or your clippers and just go flat across the top because the buck should have a nice slope to the face. Now he could use a little more dish, but with that pompadour, it would curve his face even more, which tends to make the face look a lot longer. So if he had that, I would trim it off right across the top here up against the head, you know, and still have the hairs there. Uh, again, that's usually your younger bucks that do that. You don't mess with your beards. You know, you want them to have these nice thick beards that all the trimming you do is on that rear end and your side angulation. All right, I hope that helps.